We humbly ask God to remove our shortcomings. God still loves us unconditionally. We don't earn his love. As a young Christian walking the Christian walk, we can fall into thinking that we are saved by grace and kept by works. That we are saved by grace and kept by grace. God walks alongside us through the ups and downs, when we make mistakes, when we get mad and act out. The coolest thing about growing as a Christian is you can abide and rest in God. The Holy Spirit helps us grow. We don't have to figure it out by ourselves or try to white-knuckle things, holding on for dear life. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are there with me. Your rod and your staff comfort me. Psalms 23, 1-4 Shepherds would use the crook-shaped staff or hook-shaped staff to guide them as they walk along to any pastures when the sheep should start going off in the wrong direction. But we never earn his love. Any principles in God's word we may apply, we just do it. Learning how to live, be a Christian, grow and mature, unlearn broken habits, not get on the hamster wheel of trying to earn his love. We may not feel God's grace when we're first saved. It's like some people when they get married, they don't feel married, but they are married. Sometimes it takes a while to feel it. Sometimes we may have grown up in a broken home where we weren't emotionally close or supported by family members, and the brokenness is coming up. We may need a pastor or a Christian counselor to help us sort through things. Humility is to be in touch with reality, to have a right view of myself. Some th people think it's self-abasement or putting yourself down, but it's just to be in touch with reality. But the biggest part of humbly asking God to remove my shortcomings is seeking God's will, getting out of our two square inches of space and into another, seeking God's will.